I'm talking to you, you entrepreneur who is podcasting or using YouTube and you want to get paid for what you're doing. Well, there's a way to do that now. I talked to my buddy Dave Jackson, who is a guru in podcasting. He's discovered a way that you can use crypto in a wonderfully peaceful way and do it. And that's what we're going to talk about on this interview I have with him on Agorapreneurs. Welcome to Agorapreneurs, standing for liberty and freedom, all done peacefully. Now, here is your guide, Terry Brock. The business of podcasting and using video is really good, and people do, do that a lot. But you know, there's a way now you can get paid for that in a creative way where your listeners, those who are listening to you, those who are watching your videos, are going to be able to give you some coin right there. There's a way to do that, and we're going to find out about it from someone who really knows what he's talking about when it comes to podcasting and helping get a message out to the world. His name is Dave Jackson. He has helped me enormously in many different ways, listening to him. And you might know him already. He's pretty famous, but he's joining us right now. And I'm uh, glad to have him with us today. Dave, welcome aboard. Oh, thanks for having me. I am really excited about this. And now you and I are going to be speaking at uh, the conference, the Florida Blockchain and Bitcoin, or is it Bitcoin and Blockchain Summit? And uh, we're going to be doing that in just a little bit. So people that are watching this might see it a little bit later. But you've talked about, uh, before we got into the recording, a way that you have now figured out how to earn money from your listeners when they say, hey, I really like this podcast. I really like this. And they can give you some Satoshis, those small incremental parts of the Bitcoin. Tell us what this is and how people can start tapping into that. Yeah, it's using Telegram, the, the app. It's using the Lightning Network and then a bunch of new podcast apps that you can find at newpodcastapps.com. And the beautiful thing of this is the longer your audience listens, the more money you make. And as you mentioned, there's an, in these apps now, there's what's called a boost button. So if you kind of think of it, you know, you, you tip your waiter, things of this nature. So if somebody likes what you're doing, they're like, wow, that was real. That was brilliant. They click a button and they can send you as much money as they want. That is nice. I like the idea. So how is that going to affect advertising? Well, it's going to be a, a, another revenue stream. So I don't think right now it's really, really early in this process. So I don't see it replacing advertising, but it could depending on who your audience is and how uh, tuned in to cryptocurrency they are and things of that nature. But for me, I just see it as another stream of income. You can sell your own products, you can do affiliate marketing, you can do ads, and now you can do crypto. I like it. Well, that sounds like it's opening up all kinds of options and multiple streams of income makes a lot of sense. For those yeah. of us who are entrepreneurs, we're out there. It's good to not say, well, I'm depending only on this one thing, like having only one client. Well, that's a little bit risky because we've all seen what can happen there. Well, tell me a little bit more about the nuts, bolts, and wiggle pins that go into this, how we get it set up and someone, what someone needs to know because they're leaning forward going, hmm, hey, Dave Jackson's got something really good here. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, I've got some videos. Uh, I actually started a podcast about this called Leading the Bleeding, and I've got two videos over there you can check out. I like it. Leading the Bleeding. I like yeah, it. It's leadingthebleeding.com. Yeah. And it's I named it that because of the bleeding edge that we're kind of on. And so it involves kind of two sources. One is podcastindex.org. And that is where your show is probably already there if you're a podcaster. And you basically go over, There's a you'll look for your show, you'll find it, you click on a little lightning bolt and you have to basically claim your show to prove that I am the owner of that show. Because when you do that, it actually ends up putting a little bit of code into your show on that website. Then we have a bunch of developers that are making new apps. And in some cases, old apps are just adopting the new technology so that when they find your show and that that app is now using not Apple and not uh, you know all these other things, it's using your RSS feed from that website, which you've claimed, now they can go in and say, hey, for every minute I listen, give this person 25 Satoshis. And so that app is using the feed, the feed claimed to you, you then can go in and set up your wallet, whether that's, you know, there's a bazillion of them, Blue Moon or whatever it is, and Strike and things like that, so that if you want to, you can then transfer that back to your checking account. So it's it's kind of the, the wrist talks to the elbow, talks to the shoulder kind of nice. thing. But the thing I love about it is it's direct feedback from your audience. So mm -hmm. if for yes. some reason, you know, in right now, if somebody doesn't like what somebody says, they go after the advertisers 
And this is where you can say, well, I, in some cases, maybe I don't have any. And if you've got kind of a technical audience that's talking about this kind of stuff already, they're probably more than likely to be able to send you some you know, uh, cryptocurrency. So yeah, I think that's uh, really good. Now, before we uh, got there into the recording, you and I were doing some screen sharing. You shared a screen and showed me that leading the bleeding. Would you mind sharing your screen here and just kind of show us what someone can look at and the videos they could go through and see how to do that? Yeah. So again, the website again is leading the bleeding and it's just got right now two episodes. We're probably going to do about one episode a month. The first one was me kind of explaining that here's what I'm doing. And you'll, you'll see where it's like, you have to start somewhere. And that was me saying, Hey, what the heck is a Satoshi? Cause I really came in completely blind, but I was like, there's only one way to learn. And then the, uh, the recent episode is how to enable your show. So everything I was just kind of talking about, I actually have a video on YouTube that explains how to do this. I would recommend installing Telegram first. When I did this, again, kind of coming in blind, Good point. I kind of did it in the middle. Install Telegram first, because once Telegram's installed, you literally three minutes and you're up and running and you're good to go. Nice. And so this, this particular uh, video walks you through that. And there's an audio version of that kind of explaining that. And then right now on the website, I have a blog, which has the second one, which is the question I got from everybody, which was, okay, how do I, now that I've got this information, how do I go about, you know, I may, maybe I want to take this money out. And so I've got a video that will explain, okay, how to transfer money and the, the service that's making it super easy right now to have those Satoshis come to you. It's called Satoshi.stream. So it's how do I take that wallet and transfer it into whatever wallet you're using? So those are the, the two steps. And probably in November, we're going to have another uh, kind of, I'll call it a round table. Uh, it's just a bunch of people that are all kind of involved in this project. And we're going to be looking at how to explain this to our audience. And uh, I had somebody said, well, you know, why would I do this? Like what's, what's in it for the audience? And I said, you'd be surprised. You, you feel differently when you're listening to somebody and you know that you are giving them value back. They gave you some value. You're giving some of that value back. And that's one yes. of the kind of the buzz phrases uh, Adam Curry talks about this a lot. That's he calls that business model the value for value. He's like, look, if yep. you go to the if you go to the movies, you're going to spend probably 30, 40 bucks if you have two people. Uh, the movie was probably three hours long if you count the trailers. He's like, his podcast is three hours long. He's like, so did I give you as much value as a movie? If so, well then why not give the money that you would normally give to a movie? How about giving it to me because I entertained and educated you? So give it back. So I they like call it. that the they call that the value for value model. I like it. That value for value living really is in the Agora lifestyle that we're talking about. And that's what we uh, want to do. Thanks for sharing your screen. We appreciate that. Oh, yeah. and, uh, and while we've got you here, I think uh, as far as uh, uh, getting information on what we're doing with podcasting, you run the school of podcasting. You have helped many people how to do it. You also work with Libsyn and have helped me enormously over there as well. Uh, since we've got you here, I'm going to reach up through the screen here and twist your arm just a little bit. What do you see working particularly well today for successful podcasts? What are you telling your students at the School of Podcasting that's working today? Yeah, it's, it's something that and it's not going to change. When you create a podcast, there are a number of things that you should be trying to do. You don't have to do them all, but that should be you, you either want to make people laugh, cry, you make them think. In some cases, groan. I know I watch some shows because I love to hate them. Um, so laugh, cry, think, groan, educate, or entertain. And I came up with that because I looked at what shows I watched. So at the time, I was watching um, John Stewart on The Daily Show. Well, he made me laugh. He made me groan at times. I was like, wait, they're doing what? And it was information I couldn't get anyplace else. So he was educating me while he was entertaining me. So when you can kind of combine those things, and if there's a, an audience that's underserved, I have a, a friend of mine that started a podcast about women's fast, pay, fast pitch softball. Ooh, so you're not going to, you're not going to, you're not going to find this on like ESPN 12. It's, yeah, it's pretty a niche niched. of a niche. <laughs> yeah. But he is now the king of women's fast pitch softball has uh, that's an Olympic sport. And he's like got all the athletes in his phone. And so if there's an audience that's underserved, they're dying for somebody to talk about whatever the industry is or that type of thing. And when your target listener goes to Google and they type in whatever the topic is podcast and they find yours and they read the description and they're like, this person is like made this for me. That's where the magic happens. Absolutely. And when they, when they yeah, hit that... it and, and, and you're laughing and you're crying and you're thinking bingo. <laughs> 
makes all the sense in the world. And we're talking with Dave Jackson, the School of Podcasting at schoolofpodcasting.com. You want to get over there and take a look at that. And we're seeing what's happening with podcasting, with video, and now with crypto, that idea of getting paid by your listeners very easily. They can just click and there it goes. I think this is beautiful and something that we're going to see happen a lot. Dave, as we look under into the future, I'd like you to reach under the desk there and get your magic ball <laughs> that's look into the future, rub it real well, make sure your batteries are charged on that thing. <laughs> and where do you see going, let's say long-term for just the next year, you know, long-term, that would be next year. What kind of things do you see happening in addition to getting paid using tools like you just told us about? Yeah, well, I think certain companies like Spotify and um, whoever owns Pandora these days, I always forget, does Pandora own Sirius or Sirius own, um, but these big companies are, are trying to basically create a walled garden. They're trying to buy big name celebrities in hopes that you will come over and use their app and then see their sponsorship. And I'm not sure that model's working. We've already had two people that were were previously exclusive on Spotify that when their contract was up, they didn't renew. Um, I've seen Spotify make shows like the one with President Obama and Bruce Springsteen. That was exclusive. And I just saw it yesterday on Apple. So it's not anymore. So I think we're going to see mm-hmm. big companies kind of try to control the space. And the fun part is podcasting is so open. It's so, you know, I can listen to it wherever, whenever, on whatever app I want. And they're like, no, no, we want you to listen to it only on our app when we say it's available. And it's like, I don't think that's going to go over well with the podcast. I think you're right. Yeah, I think they're going to have to come up with creative ways to earn money themselves, some other multiple streams of income for them. Yeah. So I think we're going to continue to see podcasting continue to grow. It's grown every year since 2005. And I think we're going to continue to see independent shows. I just uh, was listening to Tom Webster from Edison Research, and he was saying how, yeah, I want to say it was like some really high number, like 70% of podcasts that are listened to are independent. So as much as we think, oh, I have to be a celebrity or I have to be this, there's a lot of independent shows that are getting a lot of traction. And sometimes we get lost because we want to compare podcasting to radio because it makes sense. It's audio, that whole nine yards. I think podcasting is much more closer to uh, cable TV, right? The animal planet, weather channel, cooking channel, all these, and and those channels are never going to have these giant audiences that the mainstream media does. But the people that I have a friend of mine that loves the weather channel. And I was like, what? Mm -hmm. Like, Oh, it's awesome. It's so interesting. And I don't, I can't get that information any place. So there it is again. And so I think for me, podcasting is more like cable television. You end up with a smaller audience, but they're more engaged and they really, really, really want to hear your content. Yep, I think so. Well, if someone says, hey, I really like this, they want to find out more about the school of podcasting.com, they could go there. Any other way that you would like people to get in touch with you? Now, that's really it. Everything is there, whether you want to contact me via email or social or whatever there, it's all there, school of podcasting.com. All right. Well, Dave, again, thank you for all that you have done, sir. You have helped many people through the years. You continue to do that and uh, appreciate your sharing this information with us today. Thanks for having me. Glad to be here. Thanks again. You bet. We've been talking with Dave Jackson, the school of podcasting.com. You want to be sure and get over there. And there's some real good information going on. You're going to find out about it when you tap into the right sources. This is one of those where I get fed, where I learn, and I know that you will too. Hey, I'm Terry Brock. Thanks for being with us today. Well, that is nothing short of amazing. Getting paid for what you're doing is really a good thing. And when you're podcasting, when you're using YouTube, think about the possibilities of what Dave was talking about there, where you can just press a button and people would be able to thank you and they send you certain amounts of money. It might be a nickel, might be a quarter, might be $25, might be $50, $100, whatever. Think about whatever it could be and how you could pack more value in there for them. And then you're not dependent on anyone else. Hey, this is what the Agora lifestyle is all about peacefully living live and let live is what we talk about here and that's what you can do and now get paid for it in a big way and you want to find out more about this well hey by golly subscribe we got room for a few subscriptions and we'd love to hear from you whatever platform you're getting this on we would love to hear from you i appreciate you taking your time your most precious resource and being with me and if i can help you out you get in touch with me please like this video if you really did that'll help us in the ratings because it'll give the algorithms the note that says hey They like this, so that's a good thing. And subscribe, we'd love to hear from you. Stay in touch. If I can help you out in any way, let me know. 
Thank you very much for joining us today here on Agorapreneurs. We're all about your freedom, liberty, and being the entrepreneur that you are, reaching out to achieve the goals that you want. Whether you're an entrepreneur on your own, or maybe operating within another enterprise or organization, whether you're a solopreneur or part of a much larger enterprise, we are here for you to help you get the skills and the technology, the right thinking of mind, right frame of mind, how to increase your connections, building those relationships in business that matter. Don't forget, we've got the 5K program, help you in creating content, no charge to you. You go over and you can look at that at terrybrock.com slash 5K, notice the K is lowercase, and you'll be able to get that information, no charge, and you'll also be able to sign up for the newsletter that we send out of the Agorapreneur's Power Report, so you stay right up to date on what's going on. And if you need to reach me, my email is the best way to get in touch with me, terry at terrybrock.com. Hey, thanks for being with me today. I'm looking forward to hearing from you.